Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another tutorial today. We're going to be creating a nice simple Christmas card. So all we need is our Mortifarious card and we're going to be using our berry wreath along with um, our little hair pippin as well and a few other little stamps. So I've kept it simple because sometimes we can get a little bit overwhelmed by the, the amount of cards we're sending out at Christmas. So it's nice to keep sometimes something simple but effective. So let's get started. I'm going to use a moon mask. We've got a couple of the stencil brushes here. I'm going to pick a couple of colours, Stella Blue and we're going to be using the graphite as well. So placing that down, keep a firm pressure on it and then taking the Della Blue, I'm just going to tap a little bit off first and then very lightly I'm just going to start blending with these lovely brushes. all the way around the mask. So just make sure that you take that ink off first and that gives you a nice smooth finish. That's probably as wide as I want to go. And now moving on to the graphite, using the stencil brush again, taking some of that ink off and then very, very gently because it's quite a dark colour Just feel your way and then we're just popping that around again. And I haven't gone as wide this time so it keeps the blue there. And then I'll take that off and then with what's left of the grey now I'm just going to sweep that over the top and it gives a little bit of a dimension to the, the, the shape of the moon otherwise it can look quite flat so let's bring in a little bit of colour over the top like so So next up we've got the berry wreath and I'm going to ink up in the twilight. I'm going to stamp off very lightly first and then just pop that around the moon like so. Give that a good press. And then we'll just repeat that stamp off and again it's going to pop that down like so and then we'll take our smaller berry wreath from the set and then this time I'm going to ink up in the nocturne and just by layering your colours it gives you a, a different sort of dimension I'm 
Okay. And this time I'm just inking up the end and adding that like so. And now we've got our little berries and I'm going to ink up in the tulip red. And then I'm going to just simply dot a few of these about got our red pen here this is a jelly roll pen this is a glaze pen so it gives it a really nice um, finish almost sort of varnished glossy and I'm going to color in some of these lovely berries I think the red stands out really nicely against the blue course you don't have to have red. You can have whatever colour that you like. It's always worth experimenting with colour. Sometimes you, you surprise yourself on what actually works. find our little Pippin and then we're going to pop him down just on the edge there so we're going to ink up this time in the Nocturne make sure he's completely covered and let's pop little Pippin just on the edge Give that a good press, let it rest a while, let that ink soak into the card. And there he is. Now I'm going to take one of our pan pastels. This is, um, what colour is this one? This is Dairy Live Yellow, but of course you can use whichever yellow you have. And I'm just going to pop a glow of light there. And then we've got our little lamp. And I'm going to ink up in the twilight. And then I'm going to hang the lamp. like so and now I've got the little star stamp which is always useful I'm going to stamp it off just pop a few of these about Lastly, we've got some lovely Christmas words here and you can put whatever Christmas verse you like on this. This is one of our new ones 
and I'm going to ink this up in the twilight and take off take off and just stamp a little at the side there and now just to finish off I've got my white Oscar pen here I'm going to highlight a few of the berries by literally just adding a tiny dot on the edge so it looks like the light's coming in from the side. And again, it just adds a different dimension, giving a 3D effect. few little dots around just to balance that out and I think we're good to go I think that's quite a nice simple clean design and I'd say that was relatively quick and easy to do as well. So I hope it does inspire you to have a go yourselves and make lots of Christmas cards. You take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.